So if you're hanging out with somebody from the Rose Theater and you ask them, what's up? You better have a few minutes to spare. They got <laughs> a lot of things going on. Yeah, we do have a few minutes here this morning. There are three productions to discuss, plus a new feather in the cap of the Rose Brigade. That just happened this weekend. Corey Radloff returns yeah. from the Rose Theater alongside choreographer Sue Gillespie Bhutan. Hi, hi, hi. Sue again. Welcome. Yeah, yes. so uh, we, we've been we've been playing this up. You guys have so many things going on. So yes. what's new? Oh, we, it is a wonderful time at the Rose. You know, it might be cold and snowy in, outside, but you come inside and we are full of a bright, sunny English garden. Mm -hmm. And um, we are right now playing um, A Child's Garden of Verses, which is a special um, show just for our very young audiences, mm -hmm. our pre-K, preschoolers. And it is a wonderful interactive show, all based around the poetry of Robert Louis Stevenson. Oh, so how does it, how does it work? How do you incorporate? You know, they come in, and from the minute they walk in the theater, they are busy planting seeds, oh. um, interacting with the actors. Mm -hmm. Once the show starts, they are singing. They are learning sign language throughout the oh. show. They are invited up onto the set mm -hmm. to play with leaves and birds and puppets and all kinds so of things. So it's not like these young kids, you're not bringing them in and expecting them to sit still in their seat the entire time. Oh, absolutely You know that not. doesn't fly for that <laughs> right. age group, so you get them involved and right. it keeps their interest. Exactly. In fact, we call it a shush-free zone, mm -hmm. so they are free to move and wiggle and do all the things that are absolutely age-appropriate for, the, for those for the, the, the youngest. Yeah. yeah, I've got a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and yes. I can't imagine she can sit for very long, so this is a good right. idea. And we don't want them to. Hey, we hey, want them no, to come No, you want to move fun. around and yeah. have fun. How much, how much longer is this show going to run? This is going to run through January 30th, mm -hmm. and we have a wide variety of show times. So you can come during the middle of the week if a Saturday works better for you. Mm -hmm. um, a wide range of things. For Let's families. transition to the next main sure. stage show. What is it? Right. Our, on Friday, we will open The Lightning Thief, mm -hmm. which is, as many people are very enamored with those books, the story of Percy Jackson. And it is a rock musical um, that families are absolutely going to love. It's, it's like a rock concert on stage. Mm -hmm. And that one starts the 22nd, as you it said. It starts the 22nd. Runs the 31st, so yes. you've got a, an overlap here <laughs> yes, between these we two do. shows. Um, and then tickets for the other show we're talking about, those are $12. This yes. one, $18. And then, as we said, you've got a lot going on. We do. We are You're looking gearing up for, for well, the next show after that, we have a few in between, uh -huh. but what we're really looking forward yeah. to is The Little Mermaid. And I'm going to let Sue talk about that one. Is this, do you have auditions open for this? Yeah. We do. We have open auditions. We'll take people from the community. Auditions are March 7th and 8th at 6 o'clock. Uh -huh. um, anyone minimum age 8 up to adult are welcome to come and audition for us. We ask that they come and bring a prepared musical theater piece, whether it's 32 measures up to the whole song, to sing for us and also be prepared to dance because mm -hmm. if they can sing we're going to probably want them i'm going to want to see them dance because i'm the resident right. choreographer there and so this is not just acting you need you need to have a little bit of talent in singing and dancing yeah it's musical theater just mm -hmm. like it's just this like the show on broadway mm -hmm. so we're going to be having them doing it all if I th what are some of the roles because of course we know like you know ariel or dad the whole thing like who are you casting for on those two days we are casting all of the roles mm -hmm. every role is open so just show up and and you may end up being Ariel or mm -hmm. Flounder or any of the any of the roles that you've seen in the cartoon or mm -hmm. in the Broadway show. So, so speaking of about you being busy, you just got back from Atlanta, right? I did. What'd you do in Atlanta? I heard some things about you. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, they're all things. they're not true. <laughs> no, they're they're good. Well, I'm, I'm, in addition to being the resident choreographer at the Rose Theater, I'm also the director of what we call Broadway at the Rose, mm -hmm. which is our musical theater education program. And within that program, we have a, an elite group of students who audition for us, just like they auditioned for The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And we call them the Rose Brigade. And we cast them in shows we had it, via, via age. Our younger kids did Into the Woods, and our older kids did The Lion King. Oh. And just this past weekend, we took them to Atlanta, Georgia for the National Junior Theater Festival, uh -huh. and our Into the Woods won the overall outstanding performance. Oh, so we're really nice. excited! Congrats. How cool! So, that what is did, cool. who were the the judges for for that? There are some pretty important people if we look at Broadway. Exactly. Just in some of our rooms that we had, we had one of the composers of a Christmas Story, which wow. was exciting for us because the Rose Theater just did a Christmas Story, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the recent uh, cast members of Newsies, Andrew Keaton Bolger, oh. was there as an mm -hmm. adjudicator. And I believe Newsies is coming. 
coming to yes. the Orpheum yes. in the next it's, month or two. I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll be there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So what, were they, what did they tell you? I'm sure you got a, a chance to get some feedback at some point from them about the, the kids. What did you hear? Yeah, we, hear, we heard so many great things. Um, and by the way, we were the only Nebraskans there, so that was exciting. <laughs> yeah. Represent. Yeah. Yeah. No Cornhuskers. <laughs> So um, they were thrilled at the fact that we had so many committed, focused, and talented kids mm -hmm. coming out of the Midwest um, to be um, in the midst of all of these kids from all of the United States. There was actually uh, 5,800 participants. Wow. Yeah. And That's I went down there. Stand out. Yes. We had 50 kids, and they went with their parents, and we took a group of 105. But I think it's amazing. We have a lot of Broadway performers that come in town to perform here right. in Omaha, and they come on the show, and we'll talk with them. A lot of them are from the Midwest. Right. They're not just from New York and L.A. Right. You don't have to be from New York or L.A. to be to work in a theater or to be an actor. You can be from anywhere. Just mm -hmm. um, You can go to the Rose Theater and mm -hmm. take classes from us and still and end up being an actor someday. And yeah. to think that for some people, that dream might start with The Little Mermaid. And I so know. we'll bring it back to those auditions. They're happening um, in March, and so it's the the seventh and the eighth at six o'clock that night. Um, and then Sue mentioned the things that you'll need to to bring in. It's really about like, are you a triple threat? Can you sing? Yeah. Can you dance? Can you shine? Let them know you're interested. It's auditions at rosetheater.org, um, and then also the two shows. So we've got um, a Child's Garden of Verses that's happening right now through the 30th, um, and the Lightning Thief happening on the 22nd through the 30th. 31st. 31st. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was so close to getting out of there. Online point is details are there at rosetheater.org. Then my photographic memory was kicking into full force there. I was trying to bring it back. <laughs> you have one of those? I didn't um, know that. It only it's like for like 40 seconds. Right. It holds yeah. <laughs> and then it disappears. But we'll have to visit with some of your, I know you got some alumni that have gone in to do some great things too. So at yes. some point we'll have to come, have you come oh, back that would and we'll be talk about a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good luck with the shows, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Corey. Sue, good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. All right, still ahead of you.